three, two, one. Three, two, one. Thank you. Morning, Eco Gypsy here. Um, back today with my Uncle John. Um, when I was over last time doing the wagon uh, video, he was talking to me about a showman's uh, caravan that he's in the middle of. So we come over here today to get a bit of footage of that and show you around that and just tell you the difference between um, a showman's wagon and a gypsy wagon. So I'll, um, I'll turn the camera around and you can see what we've got to look at. So this is 28 foot Showman's wagon. 30. 30 foot. 30. Getting told off. So. Now, for people who don't understand, this isn't a gypsy. Wagon, is it, John? Yeah, obviously, the difference between showmen's is predominantly they're fairground people, so you couldn't tow this with a horse. It's obviously going to be towed with a lorry. You see at the front here, and you normally got a turntable on the front and a good old tractor unit or lorry to tow it with. So. What we've got here is we took these, turned around and rubbed it, completely down, re-sprayed it, done it, but we've got everything back as original as possible to be. Um, the gentleman who I'm doing it for, he decided he wanted it done the real traditional way with gold leaf and everything. And uh, all the sides here are all uh, nickel plated, all on the sides here. Let's have a look in there. Hang on. Light's not brilliant in here, but. No. But it's all cut glass, all mahogany. So, what you got to do in this? Well, what we we'll do, we we'll take the rust out because they were changed. A lot of these showmen's got changed in about 70, 75. It's and like sacrilege, you know. Well, yeah, they fall like right them because they went with the times. But the gentleman wanted to put it all back to the original, and that will be all paintings and gold work, scroll work, and that, all that in the roof. And then what we're going to do is we're going to replace, like I said, replace this kitchen. So back there's a to bit, original. Yeah, there's a fair bit of work to do in there. Isn't yeah, there's a lot of work in there to be done. But. I'm glad the gentleman who's having it done is going to put it back to original. And he's got the same sort of fishing I've got to put everything back. And we've got the original plans, so we know that will be right when it's done. Because the whole point of stuff like this is just, there's no good doing it unless it's back to no. the original. Original, original. No. There's no windows are nice. That's it. But the bunks here are the original bunks, that. original cloth and everything on them. And that. And they would have had the little sculpt blinds. We have got the original ones, but we're having some new ones done to match the original ones. And then you come through to the little bit, you've got the cooking range here. Let's have a look at that, because that's one hell of a range that is. That's good. Hopefully the light's all right in there, because you can pick that up. Yeah. Like I say, I mean, predominantly these were for the show, fairground show people, so they lived in these as they were traveling from from area Shelf. to area. That's it. That's it. So and then you've got your end bedroom in there. What shuts all. So you normally got just slide that door, John, so you see. Yeah. I mean obviously they're a little bit ahead of the time really, wouldn't they, with, they it, with really the sort of yeah. things like the sliding doors well, really, and the uses was, of space and that, that in these. Was luck with, uh, the Rolls Royce rally at the time on it. Yeah. Ceilings again in this, in this bit. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be redone. 
take the four I'll four maker off and like so the, that's just the thing what happened with these shamans and like saying normally sort of from the 70s to 75s they would change yeah I mean I've got a Colchester up the yard at, at my place and that's all four mica yeah. throughout and that's got pink and brown in it yeah. which is horrible but that again at that's the, how it was in the 60s that was state of the art wasn't it yeah but to say even up here with this these little cupboards up here use of space is brilliant because every yeah. little bit is that's used it. for something that's it it's like the windows here and the carpenter has replaced them all back to the traditional everything's been done back to how it originally was so that's new windows back and front yeah i mean so but over average that's in point good condition what's the age of this one john to be honest with you, I ain't sure if it's 34 or 36, but I have got the details of them. We'll get go over that later then. Yeah, a lot of windows in there. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's those, one of the nicer ones I've seen. That is a nice though. See, once we get back, this the gentleman have got the original angel lamps we've got on here as well. Yeah. So all that's all redone. So have all the lamps over the top. Yeah. I mean, I think the same again. We'll do an update of this one when it's all finished. That's it. So the, this is all gold leaf. Yeah, there, all gold leaf. And in then there. double lined. Double lined, yeah. Because yeah. when it come in, they've been painted in the late nineties. So what they've done, they put the lines way too thick. You know what I mean? On a lot of people, they think that's better to be on a uh, on a wagon like this to do a thicker line. Yeah. Then you want to turn around, put it in the wagon, and make it look fine, and what that they do. Originally, the lines wouldn't have been that they, they were that thick to start with. Yeah. You know what I mean? But they were done in like a gold brown paint. Yeah. Natural gold leaf. So what we've done, we'll put that all back in there. Done the research on the flutes, and that's how it originally would have been done. You know what I mean? But I do like to have my own little twist to it. You know what I mean? As we go on. What? Um. I mean, hour-wise. How many hours is in this one so far? Well, it's been about four and a half months to get to this stage so far. Yeah. And I just noticed you've got to do the Molly Croft need to. Yeah, the Molly Croft need to. Let's just yeah. have a look at that. Well, that's actually all been done. That's all I've been painting and concealed. And I've been going to work and I've been going to work up to the top there all the way down to the top of the floor. And it will be a bowl. Around the edges, that's why I print everything out. Yeah. Go all around the edges, it's like printing everything out. Yeah. That's a lovely black, man. It's a nice size. I think it's a nice size. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, seen the ones that are like 40 foot, so yeah. you know, you'd wonder how, how the hell you'd maneuver them around, really. I think the tractor he's got full of. Got the, on his garden, uh, tractor. I think that's 1936 or 37 that is what he's going to pull up. Same colour? Same colour. Yeah. Yeah. Well I think that's even quite different but I think now it's in this I think he probably will want me to restore that yeah. as well. <laughs> and underneath these are um, the pan boxes. Yeah. Pan boxes or belly boxes. Belly boxes, ain't boxes yeah. Go all the way through from one side to the other. And that's what generally they used to put all the stuff in. Stuff all through. All the there. rides, stuff rides, in there. Stuff in there and all the old personal stuff. And you, like here, you got, so you got the old brake on the outside. Yeah. That's, that's the handbrake. Hand yeah, and lock it in. Yeah. Even now, bloody. It's fairly. That's all mahogany in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well made. Oh, Christ, yeah. I mean, what we. We're talking thousand foot, thousand pound a foot when they had these done, weren't it? Oh yeah, yeah, it's equivalent to those money. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you, you'd probably be one of the sort of bit more if you want a bit more upmarket showman yeah. right now. Yeah. But no, it's uh, it's coming along well. We're pleased with it at the moment. The way it's going. So about halfway. Just over. Outside, yeah, outside about halfway. And uh, like I say, we're going to start in about three weeks, four weeks' time in the kitchen. Yeah. The cat's got to be handmade the kitchen to go with it. Yeah, put all back to the original, that bit on mahogany. Yeah. And then when that's done, then we can finish the ceilings off. 
No, no, they have a good tea, there's a tea cut on that, or I'm sorry, tea cut at all. You just have a lacquer over this panel? No, I have a lacquer. If you look at these panels, hopefully, ah, this panel here, you can see they've got a little bit of tape on. Yeah. It's been lacquered from that point to that point, but if you look to the side, that's a slightly darker. Yeah. But the one that then that seals all the gold in. Yeah. So like when it's out of the way there, everything just run off it. But that gold will be there. That lasts all the time right there. Yeah. But no, that's going to be a nice thing. I think the hardest thing for us was getting that third table off. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bit of a was. No, that's good, man. Like I say, once the cap's all done, then I mean, it's all these little details there, then little bits. Oh, yeah, what makes so it? So, we do that, we'll do an update again yeah. this one, just to. Yeah. Oh, you've got a bit on this one that maybe yeah. get over here on this wheel up here. So, just yeah, well, them little it. bits like that yeah, around there. Yeah, they're a little bit of double, double then, red line inside. So then you've got a line coming around here yeah, as well. Yeah, same row all the, all the wheels and that. It's like here, we put that in yesterday, these bits. Yeah. And it's got to be obviously red line double each side. Yeah. Then that slowly ties in together. Well, the same as anything, that's knowing when to stop. Yeah. Yeah, I think you go bonkers with that, can you? Right. Well, I think the customer's very pleased with it anyway. Yeah, I should think so. Thanks for watching this video. Um, apologies for the sound quality um, and some of the camera stuff. My fault completely, but really hard to get a good uh, quality audio in, in a big empty barn without us both individually being mic'd up so I'll, uh, I'll work that one out. Anyway, hopefully uh, that's enjoyable and interesting to some people. If you've got any questions feel free to email me or leave a message and I'll, I'll try and answer them. Uh, there's a bit of history about the wagon a little still shot coming up after this. Um, and we are going to do an update when he's a bit further along, maybe when he's sort of near to being finished, we can get some daylight stuff outside because uh, it'd make my life a bit easier. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.